popular morning radio host on Mix 95.1, Rick and Lisa, are hanging it up after 38 years. Yeah, their last broadcast is this morning from their studio in Chambersburg, and that's where we find Fox 43's Tyler Hatfield. He's been hanging out with them all morning, and uh, quite the pair, Tyler. Where's Hugh? All right, here we go. Yeah, are. I mean, we have been learning so many stories for their past 38 years in broadcasting here at Mix 95.1. And we've been hearing a lot of these stories, and it's pretty emotional right now because you're about to hang it up. This is about this to be the last couple minutes, minutes here. So I'm joined here, of course, Lisa Harding, Rick Alexander, Alexander the longtime morning duos of Mix 95.1. And we've been hearing a lot of stories, like you said, and... We haven't mentioned the pink microphone yet. We have not mentioned pink. We are live on our show and your show at the same time. So you're going to come in close to my pink microphone here, which has become legendary. It started off everybody making fun of it, but now it's a thing. And, yeah, because I wear pink lipstick, and little kids stop and they look up at me like, is that a clown, Mommy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so uh, over the years, being a close talker to the microphone, it's gotten on there. So that's the story of the pink microphone. Will, will you be taking the microphone with you? Um, actually, I, I wasn't because it doesn't belong to me. But then our general manager said, sure, take it. So, yes. And Rick, I yes. mean, you're going to have a couple of remarks here in a couple of minutes about things you want to say. Just when you walked into this room this morning, what were you thinking about? What were your thoughts? Well, you know, just so... So many thoughts to try to separate. I mean, this is uh, uh, people always ask us what what it's like in radio, and it's basically what everybody does. It's a, a day in day out kind of thing. It's not we don't come in every day and have something major. Just getting up and living the life that other people do. We can relate to that and maybe bring a smile to the faces. But yeah, uh, this morning my mind was just a jumble coming in here. And you started out as coworkers. Yep. Now you're married. For 33 years, you know, talk about that relationship on air and then when you're home. I mean, it's just, it's a wonderful thing to see. Yeah, we, uh, you know, we're able to, to uh, separate the two, work and home. You know, we, in the beginning, when we first got upset at each other, it, we took it out on the air. And we realized pretty quickly that was not the best thing to do. So we've learned to channel it, right? Channel it into our content. That's right, yeah, because people like when you spar back and forth and kind of like argue over a toilet seat up, toilet seat down. But if you're having a real, you know, knockout and it's real, it's tense and people don't like that. So, yeah, we've learned to control that over the years. I like to think we're, we've got a Ray and Deborah Barone thing going on <laughs> from Everybody Loves Raymond. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And so many people have been pouring onto Facebook and all this, mm -hmm. all these messages about how much they loved you on air. You know, what is something you want to tell them now? Um, I appreciate it. Without our listeners, you know, we obviously wouldn't be here and have this long tenure. So we're very appreciative. And I've never taken that for granted. And we come in, we give 110% every show you know it's still when we run into somebody in public that uh, knows us it's a thrill that we, we're, we're humbled and honored that people care that much about us really well i'll leave you all to it okay. a couple more minutes here right. but what a wonderful morning learning from some of broadcasting greats here 38 years on air and now comes to an end but can't wait to see what happens next so for now live in chambersburg i'm tyler hatfield fox 43 news